There are people in this world who have lived extremely miserable lives. And they want others to be equally as miserable as they are. Case in point, Carnival of Sokol expert Andrew Pierce, who works for the Daily Mail. My family, now Andrew Pierce has made disgusting comments that have gone viral. And my family, first of all, I want you to hear what Andrew Pierce, who works for the Daily Mail, has demanded that Prince Harry do. My family, can you please hear this yourself? Prince Harry, if you are coming my back family. to Britain, Prince Harry, if you are coming back to Britain, do yourselves a favor and leave Meghan behind. Harry, we understand, is talking to old friends about how you can possibly make an at least partial return to Great Britain. Forget your friends, Harry. Call your father, the king. Call your brother, the future king. And apologize for the wicked things you said about both their wives. And if you do come back, here's some other advice. Do it under the radar, low profile. Another reason why, best leave your wife behind. Prince. My family, as you've heard yourself, Carnival of so called expert Andrew Pierce, who works for the Daily Mail, has made some demands to Prince Harry, whereby he says, and I quote, that if Prince Harry is coming back to the UK, then first of all, he needs to leave his wife and the mother of his kids behind. My family, and then Daily Mail's Andrew Pierce proceeds to say that uh, Harry should say sorry to Charles and William because of what Andrew Pierce claims the Prince Harry said wicked things about their wives. And then Andrew Pierce proceeds to say that if Prince Harry is to come back to the UK, then he needs to do it, you know, my family, in secret. That is my family, you know, under the radar. And that's why he says he should leave Meghan behind. My family, allow me to just uh, respond to Andrew Pierce what he has said because his words have gone viral. His words have gone viral. His words have attracted hundreds of thousands of views on X, formerly called Twitter. And my family, let me start by saying this. It is evil for anyone to demand that a father, that a husband, abandon his wife and kids and for what to come back and follow prince william around to come back and being the third wheel following william and kate around now my family the media always think of the days that you know just william kate and prince harry whereby harry was the third wheel as some kind of the golden happy days Yet Harry was lonely. Yet Harry was miserable. But in the minds of this carnival of so-called experts, because they had access to all the events, all the engagements that Harry did with William and Kimbleton, those were the golden days. Because these days, they are all denied access to Prince Harry, to Meghan, and even to Harry and Meghan's kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. And now I have seen that UK media want a return back to those days. Those days when they had full access to Prince Harry. Those days when it was just William, Kate, with Harry being their third wheel. With Harry doing all the work and William and Kimulton taking or claiming all the credit for all the work Harry has done. They want a return to those days. And for that to happen, they say Megan should be left behind. Harry should somehow abandon 
the mother of his kids. That is cruel. That's a cruel thing to say. It's cruel, it's evil, it's immoral. It's immoral. And it is wrong. And my family, actually, let me just read you some comments also from uh, members of the squad on X formerly called Twitter because so many people have reacted to Andrew Pierce, my family words. For example, one person said, and I quote, this is a British so-called journalist, Andrew Pierce, working for the Daily Mail, telling Prince Harry to return to the toxic royal family and dump Meghan and his children, leaving them behind in the States. This racially motivated cyberbullying that Meghan has experienced from the UK tabloids, sanctioned by the royal family for the last eight years, way before she even gave any interview, is crazy. Meghan left the country because of all this abuse. And they treat her as if she is a runaway slave. There is no way they would still be fixated and committed to this hate campaign against her if she was my family English. Someone said that. So my family, his words have triggered so much backlash on X formerly called Twitter. And my family, I'd say, rightfully so. Rightfully so. My family, you know, if you're asking a husband to abandon his wife and kids, I'm assuming you must be offering him something amazing, something perfect. So what are UK media offering Prince Harry to come back to the UK and cut ribbons? Is that the perfect life that they're offering Prince Harry? Or my family, are they offering him, you know, child's money? Child's money plus also, you know, security. My family, is that what they are offering Prince Harry? If he abandons his wife and kids as Andrew Pierce is demanding he does. Is that what my family, they are offering him? My family... As I've always said, one thing that is so valuable in life that one can have is my family number one, God in heaven, and your family. And my family, in this case, when I speak of family, is your own family. Family even that comes from you. And even your own extended family your parents, your mom, your dad, your uncle, that uncle who loves you. But in a toxic family, if you are coming from a toxic, dysfunctional family, like what Harry comes from, you know? My family, and let's just be honest with this, the only difference between Harry and Meghan is that Harry comes from a wealthy, dysfunctional family. You know, that basically, you know, runs my family, different uh, countries. Where Charles is the head of state of different, my family, you know, countries. The UK, Canada, Australia. And my family, with Megan, you've seen how toxic Thomas Markle, Samantha, you know, and Thomas Markle Jr. are. But thankfully for, but thankfully for Megan, she has an amazing, amazing mother who loves her. Generally, my family. Now, my family, where you come from is not your fault. But what you create, your own family, that's basically should be anybody's priority. My family. You can't blame someone or anyone for where they come from. However, my family, when you have your own family, it's on you to put your own family first. Never let the dysfunctional 
family. You come from, destroy the family that comes from you. And my family, the fact is, Archie, Lilibet, my family, Megan, are Harry's family. Whether Yuki Media like it or not, they are Prince Harry's family. Archie, Lilibet, Megan, they are Harry's family. And time and time again, we keep seeing how Yuki Media keep demanding that Prince Harry somehow abandons his own family. And for what? For the people who couldn't care less if Prince Harry is safe, the people who stripped Harry off of his security, the people who evicted Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, Harry's family from the only UK home, they're asking Harry to give up his family that he has built and created for himself to go and follow the ones who couldn't care less about how he is, if he's sleeping well, if he's safe. That's who UK Media want Harry to lose his own family for, to give up his own family for. In my family, I have told you all this before, and I'll say this again. My family, I would give anything in this world to have uh, my late father back. Anything. Everything I have, I would give it all up just to have my father back. And I'm sure that's what Harry would do for his late mother. My family, I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. There's nothing Harry will, won't do, actually, my family, to have his mother back but my family, when someone passes away my family, no amount of money can bring them back. No amount of money, no amount of possessions that you have can bring back the person that you love. Just how it is, it is life. It is life. Such is life, my family. And my family, when you look at Prince Harry, the person who loved him genuinely is his late mother. Look at his father. Look at what he's done to him. My family, Andrew Pierce, says that somehow Harry said despicable things about, um, you know, Charles and Williams. They're my family wives. My family, you and I, have both read Spare. We've all read Harry's memoir Spare. Where Prince Harry was very clear about the racism that Megan was subjected to by UK media. My family, Harry was very clear, even giving us examples of the racism that UK media subjected Megan and Archie through. Very clear in spare, very, very clear in spare. He gave examples, but you're never going to see UK media outlets discussing my family, the examples of the racism Harry gave in spare. You will never ever see that happening. My family, you will never ever see that happening. Because they know they are guilty. They are guilty of being extremely racist towards Megan. They are guilty of being extremely racist towards Archie and Lily Badana. My family, don't forget that when they are mentioning Harry should come back, you don't even hear anything having to do with these kids because my family, they even don't want his own kids back. They don't want Archie and Lilibet. But of course, they tell you it has nothing to do with race. Nothing. Nothing. UK Media will give you a thousand different excuses as to why they bully and abuse Megan. And my family, there is no justification. There is nothing that can justify what UK media have done to Megan. There is nothing in this world that can justify the bullying, the abuse, the racism you have seen Megan experience at the hands of UK media. There is nothing that can justify what UK media have done to Megan. Nothing. Nothing. 
even if Megan did something wrong, which she did not, there is nothing that justifies bullying one woman for eight years. Nothing. Nothing. And we condemn the bullying that Megan has been subjected to by the Wikimedia in the strongest terms possible. We condemn the bullying that Megan has been subjected to by my family, senior members of the royal family. My family had told us how Charles called him, telling him not to bring Megan to Balmoral before the Queen passed away. And then Harry said that Charles said extremely disrespectful things about his wife Megan. And Harry told Charles, don't you ever speak about my wife that way. Never again. My family, William also, is someone who has even pointed his finger at Megan's face. And, and they only did this because of jealousy. Because they were jealous of Harry and Megan's star power. And they wanted things to go back to how it was. With Prince Harry following William and Kate around, having no future of his own, having no plans of his own, having nothing of his own, even no family of his own. My family. That's the future and the fate that the farm envisioned for Prince Harry. And they still envision this future for Prince Harry, where Harry is lonely, whereby Harry has no one, you know, by his side, just like what happened to Princess Margaret when she was still alive. My family, Margaret, was more famous than even the Queen. And of course, as you all know from what we've seen for with Harry and Meghan and William McKimbleton, the palace cannot allow the spare and the spare's wife to outshine the heir and the heir's wife. But with Harry and Meghan, it happened. With Margaret, it, in my family, it happened with Margaret also, where the spare outshined the heir. And the spare, Margaret, was forced to give up the man she loved and she was miserable her entire life. The same thing, the same thing is what they want to happen to Prince Harry. The same fate is what they envisioned for Prince Harry. And my family, even from Andrew Pierce's own language, you can see that's the fate they envision for Prince Harry. That's the fate that they envision for Prince Harry. Now you tell me, do you think that that's a future that is uh, good, that is perfect for Prince Harry. Do you think that that's the future that Harry should uh, look up to or think of? That that life back in the royal family would be perfect, amazing for me. My family, a life of misery and happiness is not amazing. It isn't. It isn't. But sadly, that's what Yuki Media want for Prince Harry. And that's why they keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing every single day for eight long years now. Trying, just trying to my family cause some kind of marital issues between Harry and Meghan. You know, when you hear them saying for to Prince Harry that he should leave Meghan behind. You know, my family, I'm thinking about Megan right now. I hope that she doesn't see these things. I really hope. But I'm sure she knows because my family, this is not the first time that UK Media say this stuff. This is not the first time that UK Media have been uh, trying to break apart this, my family, union between her and Megan. So I'm sure Megan must have had this kind of you know, language before. I'm sure of my family it all. And how does Megan feel when she sees this stuff? My family, the fact that you can be the thing that they own Prince Harry is a problem. It's a problem. The fact that they think that they own him, that Harry is their own personal property, and that he must return to them. That's a problem. It's a big, big problem. That my family, I have seen with my own two eyes, it's a big, big problem. 
with how they feel like they own Harry, that Harry is the one person of property and that only they are the ones who can decide Harry's future. My family, you look at Margaret. In the end, my family, when you came in to speak about Margaret, what do they say about her? They say that, you know what, um, Margaret gave up love for duty. And they clap their hands for Margaret. In reality, when you read Spear, and, and I feel like, I always feel like, there's a reason why Harry in Spear wrote about Margaret's misery. There's a reason. Because he wants us all to know that's the fate, that's the fate that the farm and Wikimedia envision also for him. It's the fate that they want for Prince Harry himself. My family. And I hope that that fate never ever befalls Prince Harry. You know? Because my family, yes, Margaret was miserable, but what do Wikimedia write? They write that, uh, you know, Margaret gave up love for duty and that everyone should clap their hands for her. And Charles told Prince Harry, told him that, look at Grandpa Harry. Right now, he can do, basically, the papers were so, so mean to him. But as you've seen through the years, he can do, he could do no wrong. He could do no wrong, Harry. And then Harry said, so, so what? Should I wait until I'm like 80 years old or 90 years old? That way, UK Media can write glowing things about me. My family, that's what Harry, you know, said in response to the example that Charles uh, gave to Prince Harry. Charles was telling his son, Harry, Harry, my son, just put up with the abuse. Put up with the insults. In the end, they respect you for it. So, so my family, you know, think about this. You are living a miserable life back in the raw fold. Let's say even, for example, they get Harry back into the raw fold. And Harry's coming back to the UK alone without Meghan, Archie, Lilibet as UK media and William and Charles desire to see happening. How they desire to destroy Harry's family. So Harry comes back to the UK alone without Meghan, without Archie, without Lilibet Anna. And that my family also, you know, the farm, I firmly believe this is basically what the farm intended on my family seeing happening. The farm, number one, are going to ensure that Prince Harry, you know, does not do my family many engagements. Basically, they are going to keep him from the public limelight as much as possible. That way, my family, Harry, does not overshadow Prince William. Also, they are going to control Harry's movements. They are going to control his movements. My family, they are going to control him 100%. You are rarely going to see Prince Harry, just like you rarely see Prince Andrew. That's what the farm will do to Prince Harry. You know, it's all about clipping Harry's wings. And William is supposed to benefit from my family, the farm, deeming Harry and Meghan's life. It's William and Kate who are supposed to benefit from all of them, my family. So, so my family, let's say they get what they want. And then Harry is back to being lonely, alone, miserable, out of public limelight. Yes, Pa now gives him some money to spend, and then he's on his own. Or maybe, you know, William gets him another wife, maybe, for example. But then he ends up losing Megan, Archie, Lilibet. He rarely gets to see his own family. He rarely gets to see his own kids. My family, I can't see a moment whereby. Harry can possibly be happy with my family, that kind of arrangement that the farm clearly wants for him. I, I can't see it. Harry has been vocal. He loves his kids. He loves his children. He loves Archie. He loves Lily Petan. He loves Megan, his wife, the mother of his kids. And he's always vowed to protect her, which Harry has always done. You make Harry lose his wife and kids. 
you ensure that he has the same fate as Margaret. But don't worry, don't worry. In the end, Yuki Mide will say, Harry is happy to be back. Harry is happy that Harry has chosen duty over his own family, over love, over his own kids. Clap for him. And then you have the same fate as Margaret. Make no mistake, this is the future that I can see with my own two eyes the farm wanting for Prince Harry. There is no, there is no way whereby Harry comes back to the UK and lives a happy life. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way at all. No way. No way at all. Not while, not while William is jealous of him. No way. No way. Which tells you, my family, that you cannot make a deal with people who are hell-bent in destroying your life, in ruining your family. Harry, right now, when you look at him, together with Megan, with his family, with Archie, with Lily Bedana, my family, no matter what Wikimedia say, no matter how many times they say Harry is, my family, irrelevant, you can see with your own two eyes that Harry is definitely not my family irrelevant. He is someone who is extremely popular. And the thing is, his popularity, my family, the farm is threatened by Harry's uh, and Meghan's popularity. And for a long time, they've been trying to deem Harry and Meghan's light. And they continue to try and deem Harry and Meghan's life, my family. That, that, that goal that the farm have always had, my family, that hasn't stopped. That, my family, hasn't uh, stopped. They continue to try to dim Harry and Meghan's light. And my family, Harry and Meghan together, together, you know, hopefully for my family, a lifetime, forever. Nothing that the farm do or say will ever be able to take them down. But you separate Harry from his wife and kids. You destroy the spare's life. Which is what the farm, meaning William and Charles, have been working for a long time to try and achieve. And my family, I do hope that they never ever, you know, my family succeed. And even someone else called Benny James said that, and I quote, Oi, Andrew Pierce, you are just a little bitter troll. Why do you people, why do people like you hate Megan so much? What has she actually done to warrant the slander she's endured for the past eight years? I am baffled because in my eyes, she fell in love with Prince Harry, got bullied by the tabloids, and decided to move away from the slander and enjoy family life. Why hate on that? But yet, the so-called King Charles was best friends with the pedophile. His brother Andrew is a known sexual predator and also my family pedophile. And they killed off Harry's late mother, Diana, for dating a man of color. The family, William, Charles, K. Camilla have all discriminated family have all discriminated against Megan. Have all my family discriminated Megan Markle because she is a woman of color. We pay loads of taxpayer money to William, Charles, Kate, Camilla every single year. You know? To just sit, sit in a house, just sit in a house, waste the money on parades, birthdays, and all that stuff. Hashtag abolish the monarchy. My family, someone else said that. And my family, you know, my family, you know, you've heard what uh, Benny James has said. And Benny's words are, my family, very true. There is nothing that Megan has done to justify the hell that she's been put through all these years. 
and that she continues to be put through all these years. Uh, you know, I keep saying that Harry and Meghan are a strong couple because with all these attacks, my family, I think anyone by now would have left. Anyone by now would have left. But Meghan has stood by Harry's side. Harry also has stood by Meghan's side. And my family, I hope that they continue to stand by each other's side and keep on supporting my family, each other. You know? My family. And basically, my family, the farm wants Harry to leave the woman he loves and uh, who loves Harry back and their kids also who love their father to go back to the family that treated Harry appallingly. They can't even care if Harry has security or not. You know? And clearly want to use Prince Harry for their own PR needs. To Prince Harry, don't let them destroy your family. Harry, do not let them destroy your family. You have, Harry, something so beautiful. You have a beautiful family, Harry. Don't allow Charles or William or Kate or Camilla or any man or woman to destroy your family. Don't allow anyone to destroy your family because you have something special. You take Megan away from Harry. You destroy the life of the spare. You take Harry's kids, Archie, little bit away from Prince Harry. You destroy the life of the spare. Which is what Tuki Media and, and the farm and William and Charles have been working towards with all these constant attacks towards Prince Harry. And especially towards Meghan. My family, if you love someone, genuinely, then you would want that person to be happy. Then you would want that person to live a good life. That's what you'd want if you love someone. UK media who claim that Harry is loved by Charles and Prince William, my family, you know, are showing the entire world that what Charles and William keep on showing is not, is not, is not true love. It isn't true love. That isn't love. It isn't. It is not. You know? My family, you've all seen that even after Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family, instead of the royal family, instead of William and Charles just leaving Harry and Meghan alone, let them live in peace, let them work in peace. Instead of doing that, they signed off on a breast assault towards Harry, Meghan, my family, and anyone in Harry and Meghan's circle. And that's why even after Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family, you know, they were still being attacked. My family, they're still being attacked. Even after they stepped back as senior members of the royal family, Harry and Meghan was still being attacked by Yuki Mide because the farm allows it. Because William and Charles are okay with it. And apparently, Yuki Media are saying that they're the ones who Harry should come back to because abusers can never ever let go of their victims abusers refuse to leave their victims alone which is what we see from the media and the fan they're refusing to let harry go they're refusing to let harry live and work in peace and the media and the farm target harry megan's commercial ventures family they target Harry Meghan's business deals. They target Meghan and anyone around both Harry and Meghan every single day, every single time. If Harry is even seen taking a selfie with anyone, that person is targeted. Like what happened to Prince Mario Max when Harry was my family being inducted into the living legends of Aviation Hall of Fame. But, of course, you can be there say that your family, Harry. William and Charles love you. Go and say sorry to them. Sorry for what? Sorry for what? It is Megan who has been extremely disrespected by the firm. It is Megan who is the one who is owed an apology. And Charles and William and Kate and Camilla should apologize and say sorry to Prince, Har to Prince Harry and Megan for the pain they put Harry and Megan through. 
please let's be very very clear on that it is harry it is megan it is archie lily badana who are owed an apology by the farm and since the farm and UK media are unwilling to say sorry to Harry Megan, that my family, then they should just leave them alone. Leave Harry and Megan alone. Don't talk about them. Don't mention their names. And focus on your taxpayer funded royals you have in the UK. But sadly, as we've seen, UK media are uninterested in following their taxpayer funded royals in the UK. They're more obsessed and fixated on Harry Megan. You know, my family. And thing is also, if there's something also that I want to note is this, my family. It is, uh, how can I, my family put this? If there's something that I want all of us to, to really, really take note of my family, is that the people who keep on calling and demanding for Prince Harry to abandon his wife and kids are people who live extremely miserable lives. And this time, allow me to focus on um, Andrew Pierce. My family, just back in May, this person, Andrew Pierce, who's calling for Harry to abandon Meghan and Archie and uh, Lily Bedana behind and come back to the UK to follow William and Charles around, spoke about his own personal you know, my family experiences in life. And here's what Andrew Pierce said, and I quote, I found my birth mother after 45 years. Then she rejected me all over again. Straight from Andrew Pierce. My family. It's my family now Andrew is someone who has been adopted and he tracked his birth mother after 45 years and then his birth mother he says in his own, in his own words rejected him all over again so my family one thing that we always see is that people who wish misery upon others are people who live extremely miserable lives themselves. That they want others to be equally as miserable as they are. Like what Andrew Pierce wants to see happening to Harry Megan's kids, who clearly he wants to, 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 for them to be abandoned by their father. Like he was abandoned. He wants the same fate for Archie Lily, but that way in the future, UK media can exploit their trauma. That they want to cause to Archie and Lily Petana. This has been the cycle that uh, UK Media have made money from. They know that the royal family in the UK, my family in uh, the UK, is very, very much uh, dysfunctional my family. They know that very well. They know that very, very well. And as Harry said, Members of the Rorota are people who their jobs are basically, you know, to exploit the trauma that members of the royal family experience. Any drama in the royal family, it is theirs to exploit. And that's also one reason why you've seen UK Media attacking Bianca, the Harper's Bazaar reporter, who was given, you know, the right to cover Harry and Meghan's visit to Colombia. They are pissed off and angry because they, the media, were rejected by Harry Meghan. Royals who you can media think that they own. Even though they paid nothing to fund Harry Meghan. And my family, as Harry said, you can media believe that the trauma that members of the royal family experience are only theirs to exploit. And my family, they're angry because Harry and Meghan also constantly cut them off. And they really want access to Prince Harry. They want access to him so, so much. Because he's the one, his name sells papers. And they really are desperate. Very, very much, my family, desperate. And uh, if they think 
that Prince Harry is someone who's going to abandon Meghan, Archie, Lilibet to go and follow William around, then my family, UK media, are going to be very, very, you know, disappointed. Because Harry would never ever do that to his own family, my family. Never. Never. And it's despicable, really, to demand a father to abandon his wife and kids, or because you want to be able to make money off of him, or because you want access to him, or because you want to exploit him. It's despicable. It's despicable. It's despicable. And yet, one thing I find so hypocritical, really, is that UK media accused Megan of somehow, you know, being the one who is responsible for all this rift. Yet, clearly, it is UK media that are the ones that destroys my family, re relationships they are the ones who do it but my family with the media you've all seen how they never ever take blame for anything and it's honestly wrong it's honestly my family so so wrong and right now i want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed may god bless harry megan archie and also little Bedana and doria rugland and all of you members of the he never wins love wins and stay tuned on this video Love you also forever and may God bless you my family. Just because you're miserable, that doesn't mean that others should be miserable like you. Look at Harry and Meghan. Despite the pain they've went through in their own family, they choose to do good. That's Harry and Meghan. But Sally, those who've been miserable in their lives, like Andrew Pierce, they choose to do wrong. They want misery for others. You know? And my friend, this shows you what Harry and Meghan have been up against all these years. And I'm so thankful, despite what Harry and Meghan have gone through, that they are still together, that they love each other. And may they continue loving each other forever and ever and ever in family. And may no woman from like Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lilibet, Diana, ever prosper my family. May God bless you all and stay tuned to the next video. Love you, always and forever. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.